Hey guys, Amanda Blocks in here, exclusive Black Status presenter with Unique. Um, I'm going to start doing a answer of the day, question of the day type thing, um, just because I get some questions I get all the time, and so I want to be able to, when I am getting a question numerous times, just pop it into video form and then we'll have it. So, um, But one question that I've been getting a lot lately is when to create your own training group on Facebook or wherever. Um, you know, I get messages that are like, okay, I've went yellow and I have a couple of teammates. Should I create my own group? Or all the way up to, um, you know, I just went green. What should I be doing? Should I be creating my own training group? And there's no really right or wrong answer to that. Um, it's just really based on personal preference. And when you look at the big picture, I think that you don't want to be adding your teammates to a ton of groups. You know, that's something that I've always tried to be cautious of. Um, you want to make sure that you add everybody to the pop group. You want to make sure you add everybody to your black elite upline group. And then if there's by some chance a group that you've been added to in between, that is a great group, then obviously consider that group as well. But for you, um, I personally would recommend waiting till you are at least green. Try waiting till you're orange. Um, and I personally think that it is, it is even good in some instances to wait till you've gone purple. And most of you are going to create a group before you go purple. I understand that wholeheartedly. Uh, I just think that when you're in a larger group, you know, when you're in your elite black uplines group or your elite purples group or whatever, there are so many resources in that group already. And there are so many knowledgeable girls. There are a plethora of people that are in that group. And so therefore, when one of your downline asks a question, then there are people there that can answer that question. There are personalities that they're learning from. There's a lot of different um, reasonings behind that. And it's not, you know, if you're elite purple or you're elite orange um, or you're even your black status upline, has told you not to create a group yet or that it's best not to create a group yet it's not because they don't think you can do it it's not because they think that you can't manage your people on your own it's just that overall in the larger groups there is more a wealth of knowledge not more knowledge than you but a wealth of knowledge across the board and there are docs and files and resources that are in there and sometimes creating your own group can be very overwhelming so I say especially up until you are green, do everything through group message. Add everybody to a group message and say, you know, Amber's team, Amber's downline, whatever, Amber's rock stars, and communicate with everybody that way. Have them in a text message group on your phone, a group on Facebook, whatever, a group message on Facebook, whatever. But once you've gone green, if you are ready to take on the reins and, and start your own group because that's a leadership position, then go for it. I just recommend that you definitely take the time to add the files and documents and be willing and ready to know that it is a little bit more of responsibility. And I personally, even if you start your own group at Green, I would still add your team to the larger group that you are in, whether it's your purple or your blacks group above you until you have hit that point just because and I, I still have people that add theirs to mine even though they have their own just because um, like I said there are tons of resources there tons of knowledge tons of excitement um, you will notice that if you create your own group when you're green or even orange you're not going to see a lot of activity in that group right away and that's okay but you want your people to be excited you want them to hit the ground running in a larger group is exactly where that's going to happen. So congratulations when you're promoting and you're adding to your team. And we know that you're excited. We know that you're ready to lead your team. But creating your own group is not just about that level of leadership. It is about looking at it from your teammates' perspective. It's about where are they going to learn the most. And where they're going to learn the most is probably in a larger group. So group message until you're green, my opinion. Once you're green, if you want to, okay. If you don't, okay. From green to purple, still add your people to your upline 
your upline black or purple screw. From there, take on the world if you want to. Just make sure you still add them to the pop, okay? Once you're all in and you're a lifer or whatever, you know, this is your full-time gig, that's, that's at that purple and black status. Until then, let them still be connecting with somebody that is because that's it's somebody's full-time job. If it's your purple or your black, they need to be in a group where that's somebody's full-time job to manage and that group is always going to be larger to share the wealth of knowledge with them. Okay? Hope that helps.